There's a certain reason why certain people win because they have a winning mentality and they bring it into the locker room, into the gym every single day. You can't have enough of those people. You hit a certain age and it's are you still motivated to play? It's the motivation, the drive that kind of leads you and the body goes too. I go to sleep every single night thinking I'm not good enough. I really do. I don't know if that's healthy or not, but I really do have a fear of not being good. And I don't like that. No matter if my dad had to work or my sister was gone until seven or I had basketball practice until eight, we always ate together. I think that's a big part of the Hispanic family, the culture. That is key to our existence, really. You can have an all-star team, but not everyone plays at an all-star level. The year-round nature of women's basketball takes its toll and the financial opportunity with my team in. Russia would have been irresponsible to turn down. They offered to pay me to rest and I've decided to take them up on it. Basketball is really important to a lot of people in the US and no one takes it more serious than women. I played because I love to compete. I love being on the court. I just have this inner insecurity that I'm never good enough. You have to have people around you that motivate you that you want to play really hard for and always play at the highest level. It means a lot to be in one place for my whole career. The minute I got drafted in Phoenix, I knew it was a place I was going to be for a long time. But we know in the sports world and life in general, you don't know where it takes you sometimes. I can only speak from experience. But as a little kid, I remember Lisa Leslie, Cheryl Swoops, Don Staley and Cynthia Cooper. I remember the mainstream media being involved and how much exposure they received. I try to envision what life is after basketball, but I just see myself working out and just being a basketball player still. I have been really lucky to learn and play with the best in the game. It makes one go to a different level. You tell me, I play like a man, and I'll tell you, hey thanks. I even love getting older and knowing maybe I can't do one thing as well, but then trying to figure out how to do something else. That inner drive, I have it every day. I didn't set out to win Olympic medals, to play at UConn, to play in the WNBA. I just love to play basketball. It's really very simple. Then when you start thinking about those other things, that's when thinking gets complicated. I've always loved passing the basketball, making other people better. Every time I see my life without basketball, I get a little scared and I try to put a little more into it. Sometimes you invest in things that don't make money yet, but you want to make them better. I always had really good teachers that were always about more than what was in the books. Those little advice and tips can set you down the right path in your life. I'm going to do everything I can to play at a high level. I say this to a lot of my good friends. The minute you see that I suck, tell me and I'm out. Instead of lying to me, someone let me know. I just knew I wanted to play basketball for as long as I could. Any league that talks about that, they care about their players is lying. You work for the WNBA. Obviously, they want us to prioritize the WNBA as being number one on our list. But the reality is other people are paying the bills. That's the way it is. Whatever career you're in, whether it's business or sports, it's hard to keep friendships alive. It's hard to keep them thriving and remain interested in each other's lives when you have so much going on. Personally, personal relationships become really hard when you're away from home and long distance for all the amazing things we've got to do. There's always the flip side of life kind of passed us by. In other ways, we got to see the world. We're put on some of the best teams in Europe. We made a lot of money. And then the flip side is it was 12 years of our parents getting older. When you play a long time and you get a little older, you can get a little skeptical and become a little bit of a pessimist. And that experience plays against you. I was just always kind of a free spirit with a wild side. But when you meet a person that just makes you better and makes you better at life, your mindset changes. People say, how would you do in the men's game? I say, give me a man's frame. And I think I'd do oak. The best players in the world are men. So why wouldn't you want 
to play like them? If you like basketball, you enjoy watching good basketball. And if you don't like watching good basketball, go watch rowing. I want to be able to take care of myself and my family when I am done playing. I always say there's a couple things that I look at when I'm playing basketball. Do I enjoy going to the gym? Do I enjoy being in the locker room? When I get on the court do I still have that competitive fire to hate the person I'm playing against? I can say I want to be known as the prettiest player ever but I don't control that. The people control that. So all I can do is show up to work every day and give my best for as many championships that I've won. I've been on a lot of teams that haven't won one. I've just really always enjoyed coming into the gym. I don't know if it's the behavior of shooting, dribbling, the challenge of getting a whole team on the same page. When you're young, you want to put up the numbers. You want to be the man. On the nights the Lakers played, I wouldn't miss a second of the game. Every time out, every commercial, I'd run to the front yard to imitate my favorite Laker Kobe. As long as I'm playing at a high level and I deserve to be out there, then I'll always put that you say jersey on. There's nothing better than that. No matter how many times you've done it, it's one thing to have a lot of talent together. It's another to have everyone play at their highest level. Some people have knees, ankles. It's always been my back. That's been one thing I've always had to be conscious about. Strengthening and being in rehab. Pretty much I've always rehabbed it. As you get older, you get less people to hold you accountable. Especially in pro sports, the players have all the power. Unless you play for the Spurs, then you're a college kid for life. If anything, when you play against family, you never want to lose. Whether it's your sister or it's your best friend. When you know that person so well, at the end of the day, you want to beat them. Only thing that I'm guilty of is taking too many jump shots. Sometimes you need to step away from the game. I've had to do that in different manners in my career. Being loyal through thick and thin ups and downs. It makes the special moments that much more special. Tomorrow's not promised. So you've really got to take advantage of what you have in the present. Diana Lorena Taurasi born June 11, 1982, grew up in Chino, California. Taurasi's father, Mario, was raised in Argentina. She was a professional soccer player in Italy and played for several years as a goalkeeper. Taurasi's mother, Liliana, is Argentine. Mario and Liliana Taurasi emigrated from Argentina to the United States before Diana was born. She has an older sister named Jessica. Diana Taurasi is an American professional basketball player for the Phoenix Mercury of the Women's National Basketball Association WNBA. She was drafted by Phoenix first overall in the 2000 for WNBA draft. Diana has won the WNBA Rookie of the Year Award 2004, three WNBA Championships 2007, 2009, and 2014, a historic five Olympic gold medals 2004, 2008, 2012, 2016 and 2020. One WNBA Most Valuable Player Award 2009, two WNBA Finals MVP Awards, 2009 and 2014, five scoring titles 2006, 2008, 2009, 2010, and 2011, and three FIBA World Cups 2010, 2014, and 2018. She has also been selected to 10 WNBA All-Star teams and 14 All-Wanba teams including 10 first-team selections. In 2011, she was voted by fans as one of the WNBA's top 15 players of all time and was named by the league to its 20th and 25th anniversary teams, respectively the WNBA Top 20 at 20 in 2016 and the W25 in 2021. Also in 2001, she was selected by fans as the league's greatest player of all time. On June 18, 2017, Diana became the WNBA all-time leading scorer and on June 27, 2021, became the first player to surpass 9,000 points. On August 3, 2023, Diana became the first player to score 10,000 career points. Her penchant for scoring in crucial situations has earned her the nickname White Mamba. Coined by Kobe Bryant, Diana is one of 11 women to win an Olympic gold medal, an NCAA championship, a FIBA World Cup, and a WNBA championship. 